Good morning. Welcome to another encouragement here at I'm Second Channel. My name is Brother. Because it doesn't matter who I am. The only one that matters, beloved, is Jesus. Yeshua Hamashiach, the Son of God, the Son of Man, the creator of all the earth. The Father's wisdom when he created everything was Jesus. His right arm, that is his strength, his power, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yeshua Hamashiach. Amen. Um, we're going to pray and then we're going to get right into it today. We're going to be reading out of the book of Ephesians chapter 1. I often like to go right here but just because of the way he starts his letter, the Apostle Paul. But then just giving us... Uh, some truths about what it took to save you and to save me and and how wonderful it is if you would get this and, and let it seep into your spirit. You will begin to rejoice and give Father praise, give our Abba Yah praise for who he is. Let's pray and we'll get started. Father, good morning. We love you. We need you every day. We're thankful this morning for your love and for your sacrifice, for your plan to save. You sent the Savior. And we're thankful. Thank you for pouring out your life's blood for us, Lord Yeshua HaMashiach. Lord Jesus, the anointed, the Christ. Thank you for so loving the world, Lord. We bless your name today, Father. Fill us with your Ruach HaKadosh. Fill us with your Holy Spirit. Cause us to desire to live for you and to be yours. Not to be religious, Lord, but to know you. And to know you is eternal life. Help us to do better, Lord. We love you. Bless this time. Come and sit with us, the family of God, as we just dive into your word and, and eat like we never have, Father. You satisfy us. You are food. You are water. We love you. And right now, we just, we're going to give you all the praise for what you're about to do. All the glory, all the honor, for it all belongs to you. And it is in the name of your son, Jesus, Yeshua Hamashiach, our king, our savior, and our brother, that we do pray and say amen and amen. Ephesians chapter one. Listen, beloved, in the, even in the uh, amplified version, which is more expressive and brings it out. The Bible says, the Bible says, The Bible says, Paul, an apostle, a special messenger, personally chosen representative of Christ Jesus, of Yeshua, Hamashiach, the Messiah, the anointed, by the will of God. It's by God's will that we are called. That is by his purpose and his choice to the saints. God's people who are at Ephesus and are faithful. This, this was written to the faithful, to those that don't give up, to those who, who hold on, to the faithful and loyal and steadfast in Christ Jesus. This letter is not for unbelievers. This letter is not for those that mock God. If you're listening and you're a mocker, Turn it off. Go somewhere else and play games. You, you don't know what fire you're playing with. Grace unto you, he says, and peace. That's inner calm and spiritual well-being from God, our Father, and the Lord Yeshua, the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed and worthy of praise be the God and Father of our Lord Yeshua 
our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realms in Christ. Just as in his love, he chose us in Christ, actually selected us for himself as his own before the foundation of the world, before the world was created. He knew that you would come to him and he made a way so that you could. We praise you, Father, before the foundation of the world so that we would be holy, that is, consecrated, set apart for him, for his purpose, and blameless in his sight, in love. Hallelujah. He predestined and lovingly planned for us to be adopted to himself as his own children through through Jesus Christ, through Yeshua. He's talking to the Gentiles here. That adoption, you were adopted. And then those Hebrews, you were children who were dispersed and cut away from the vine for a moment. But in these last days, you're coming back to him. He's creating in himself one new man, Jew and Gentile, the, the, the church of the living God. It says, he predestined and lovingly planned for us to be adopted to himself as his own children through Jesus Christ in accordance with the kind intention and, and good pleasure of his will. It pleases the father to save. It pleases the son to save us. The Lord our God is one God. Hallelujah to the praise of his glorious grace and favor, which he so freely bestowed on us in the beloved. The beloved is his son, Yeshua, his son, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. In him, in who? In, in Yeshua, Jesus, we have redemption. That is our deliverance and salvation through his blood which he paid the penalty for our sin and resulted in the forgiveness and complete pardon of our sins in accordance with the riches of his grace, which he lavished on us. And all these things, this, this beautiful uh, eloquence in which Paul is speaking, he's just talking about how he freely gave and he lavished and it, it's like he wasn't stingy with his love. He poured out, he's pouring out his love freely. He's lavishing it on us in all wisdom and understanding with insight. He made known to us the mystery of his will according to his good pleasure, which he purposed in Christ with regard to fulfillment of the times, that is the end of history, the climax of the ages, to bring all things together in Christ. That's what the Father is doing with this world, no matter how it looks, beloved. He's bringing everything to a climax, everything to a head, and under the feet of Christ Jesus, Yeshua, our Savior, because he is worthy and because he rose from the dead. Let it be known, beloved, Christ is in charge, hallelujah. Both things in heaven and on earth, in him in who? In Christ Jesus, in Yeshua HaMashiach. In him also, we have received an inheritance, a destiny. We were claimed by God as his own having been predestined, chosen, appointed beforehand, according to the purpose of him who works everything in agreement with the counsel and design of his will. It's just saying that our Father, our God is our Elohim. He is sovereign. He's working everything. Somehow all of this what looks like confusion is being 
is is really being put into a, a, a divine symphony and brought to one, to an end, to a head who is Christ, our Lord. He said he works everything in agreement with the council and design, but it's all by design of his will so that we who are, who were first to hope in Christ, who first put our confidence in him as our Lord and Savior, he's talking about them as apostles, would exist to the praise of his glory and that we would exist to his praise, that you would not bring him shame, beloved. You, you would bring him praise. You would bring him glory, that I would not bring you shame, O oh Lord, but I would bring you praise. I would bring you glory, not by running my mouth and what I say, but by the life that I live powered and empowered by Holy Spirit, by your grace. In him, you also, when you heard the word of the truth, the good news of your salvation, you believed in him and were stamped with the seal of promise. That seal is the Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKadosh, the one promised by Christ. Christ told the disciples, I'm going to leave now, but I'm not going to leave you comfortless. He told them in John, I'm going to send uh, uh, the gift. My father's going to send the, the, the counselor. Hallelujah. Without the Holy Spirit, beloved, there is no salvation. You make sure that you have Holy Spirit. Make sure that you believe by faith in the finished work of, of Christ Jesus, of Yeshua Hamashiach. You will receive the gift of Holy Spirit, of, of the Ruach, the breath, the wind of God. The promise by Christ, he's talking about the Spirit, as owned and protected by God. The Spirit is the guarantee, the first installment, the down payment, the pledge, the foretaste <laughs> of our inheritance until the redemption of God's own. The Spirit of God in, in us, the Ruach HaKadosh in us, is just the down payment that shows that I'm going to come back and pick up what I'm putting in layaway. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord. We praise you. It is the redemption. It's, it, it is, say it, I'm going to say it again. The Spirit is the guarantee the first installment, the pledge, the foretaste of our inheritance until until the redemption of God's own, till he comes to pick up what he put in the layaway, purchase, the purchased possession, which is his believers, which is you, which is me, beloved, to the praise of his glory. Hallelujah. For this reason, because I have heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus in Yeshua Hamashiach and your love for all God's people, I do not cease to give thanks for you, Paul says, remembering you always in my prayers, that the God of our Lord, the Father of glory, may grant you a spirit of wisdom and of revelation that gives you a deep and personal and intimate insight of himself. This is what Paul is praying over. This is what I pray over you. This is what we ought to pray over one another, that the Lord reveals himself to us in a deep way that affects us, that we walk with him sincerely. Are you walking sincerely with our Elohim or are you playing games with him? Into the true knowledge of him, for we know the father through the son. And I pray that the eyes of your heart the very center and core of your being may be enlightened, flooded with the light by the Holy Spirit, by the Ruach HaKadosh, so that you will know and cherish the hope, the divine guarantee, which is our, our, our eternal salvation. We will live forever, beloved. Do you believe it? I believe it. The Lord is looking at me right now as I'm saying it to you. He knows I believe it. Do you believe it? Oh man, the confident expectation to which he has called you, the riches of his glorious inheritance in the saints, God's people. And so that you will begin to know 
what the immeasurable and unlimited and surpassing greatness of his active spiritual power is in us who believe that we will start to know what power is being activated in us while we have the spirit in us power is in us beloved power is in you to overcome any and all things in your life these are in accordance with the working of his mighty strength in which he produced in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his own right hand in the heavenly places. The same power is in you that raised Christ from the dead. That power is going to raise us on the last day. That very same power is in you to overcome this world. Your three enemies, in fact, my pastor used to say, the world, the flesh, and the devil. Far above, it's talking about Christ being seated at his own right hand in heavenly places. Far above all rule. This is where he's placed now. Above all rule, above all authority and power and dominion, whether angelic or human. Far above every name that is named, above every title that can be conferred. Not only in this age and world, but also in the one that is to come. And he put all things in every realm in subjection under Christ's feet. See, Christ won the victory, beloved. And as a result, the Father put everything in every realm throughout every age of eternity, of the eternities, under the feet of Christ. And Christ gives us, uh, uh, through the Ruach HaKadosh, the Father gives us this victory. As the family of God, are you walking in victory? You should be. I should be. We, we were made victorious when we got saved. We are already, we've already won. He put all things in every realm in subjection under Christ's feet and appointed and appointed him as supreme and authoritative head over all things hallelujah in the church which is his body the body of Christ the fullness of him the body we as the body are, are supposed to be excuse me the fullness of who our God is who feels he says the Lord feels and completes all things in all believers. You're finished in him. You're already complete in him. You're already holy in him. Now, walk in it. Live it out. When he returns, will he find you? Even, even question, when the Son of Man returns, will I find faith? Will he find faith in the earth? Will he find you walking it out? Will he find me walking it out, believing, believing it truly? Oh, man. Powerful words. Amen, beloved. Be blessed this week. Blessings over you. Blessings over your family. Have God's peace. Don't give your peace to the enemy. Separate from, from yourself uh, all that... that Walk in foolishness so that you can hear God, so that you can hear your Elohim. Amen. I'm second.